previously. Why are they playing this in here? I just got owned on Master Duel Masochist. FA Pit Stop is not good. That's good. Dynamicious is huge. Hold up. Sick rare. Wow. What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. All right, here's the Dynamicious. Maybe we get to test this. This is a good way to get rid of Vayne, funny enough. Because this card in hand just sucks. I like that. All right, we just smack. Okay, do I risk getting blown out by Lightning Storm for like the 900th time? I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep the prison because they haven't played a monster yet. I also think this is the highest value card. It's a bot. We found the bot. <laughs> Free win. We haven't seen a self-decay bot in a long time, actually. Unless I'm crazy, I feel like we haven't seen one of these bots in ages. I'm not complaining. We'll take it. Woo! Free win! Free cards! If they're as good as Dynamicious, I'm not going to complain. All right. Two legacy packs. Not bad. Wish it was more, but we'll take what we can. Ooh! Not deserved in the slightest, by the way. A maze attraction. Mer this is technically generic. I don't think it's worth playing, though. Gout, very funny. Uh, Dynamorphia card. Seer, not playing that, unfortunately. Rescue Ace HQ, also unfortunately not playing that. Snowdust Dragon is bad. Ojama Delta Hurricane is bad. Okay. There are so many good URs. But for every one good you are, there's 20 bad ones. Please. Never lucky. Never lucky. Never lucky. All right, let's open the legacy packs. It's pretty bad when the legacy packs have a high likelihood of being better than the master packs. Abyssal Designator, so we can FTK ourselves. And Hunter of Black Feather. This card isn't, like, terrible. Like, I don't think we'll play it, but it's, like, it's fine. It's a decent card, though. Like, it could have been... Honestly, that was better than anything we pulled in the Master Pack. I'll say that. Shield Crush is sick. Grave Oja is not. All right. Man, I remember when we first started... Looking at these three traps, like, it, it was not even on my mind that these three cards would be in our deck. But here we are. What the fuck is that? I have never seen this card in my life. Why is every Gemini card just terrible? All right. Go for it. I'll pull, I'll, 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 I'll bite. Okay, what do we set? I'm feeling... 
I'm feeling these two. Oh, I've got a really sick play I could do. That's so good. You guys already know where we're going with that. I'm curious to see where this goes. Is this just another bot? I mean, with these names, I wouldn't be surprised, but like, is it just like bot day? What is going on? All right, let's get our free cards. Only one legacy ticket. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. All right. Just as quickly as we left, we're back once again. A useless flower cardian. A second useless flower cardian. If that was the third flower guardian, I was going to actually just quit out of this. Jurassic Impact, Toon Barrel Dragon. Gallon Duo is not bad. I haven't seen this Reptilian card. This was one of the newer ones. That card's not bad. Mimicry Lanius is okay. Perform Puppet. Gimmick Puppet card. Uh, we're not using that. All right. Uh, Legacy Packs. Okay. That's promising. Three Strikes Barrier. I... That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> Gaga got back. Okay. Well, that's what I should expect from a legacy pack, in all honesty. Not the best hand. At least we can Draco Utopian Aura this vein away. I was about to say this looks like a real opponent, but then they have 47 cards and six cards in the extra deck. So we'll see. This card's like decent. This in um, Sealed Showdown actually was kind of annoying. I don't know why you would normal summon it, but... Oh. I forgot Nordics have new cards, huh? This could go poorly. Oh, we're going to get cooked. They had three. Oh, just three cards. It's not three Nordics. Okay. Okay. What's the best Nordic, Thor? I don't think it's Odin, but I might be wrong. Oh, that's bad. It's unaffected by spell or trap effects. Oh wait, but it's not a quick effect though. Okay, I need to make sure. A little bit of a, an error in their, in their sequencing here and that might cost them actually. Okay. Acer's, uh, or Odin is old. All right, I'm, I'm going for it. I don't care. That back row has got to be insane. Okay. Okay, my heart stopped for a sec. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm like, please tell me this works. All right, good. We didn't get absolutely walloped by, uh... <laughs> by a Odin. <laughs> Even if they linked it here, we could have just Suprex attacked over this and then back to square one. So it actually didn't matter. Unless this back row actually is relevant. Sure. Why not? I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. We're not complaining. We're, we're taking that for what it is. Now this gets the tokens. Okay. Good. All right. Gold four, just like that, huh? And two legacy packs too. All right. Let's open some more master packs, ladies and gentlemen. I think a super. I think supers are better than ultras, if I'm being honest. Okay, Cupid Volley. The only reason I would consider playing this is because I can just, like, mill cards to possibly get Bear Grum in the grave. 
That's like kind of relevant. Will is sick if we actually had Salomon great stuff. Weathering Soldier. That is not good. Tindangle, however the fuck you say that. Take one flip monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Oh, if this is a fiend. If this was like an insect or a plant, that actually wouldn't be terrible. Uh, that card's bad. Wait a minute. Magma's crazy. Magma's like a generic eight that actually does something. Holy shit. Now we have a good eight for fucking, what's the thing? The, the dragon bite. The level four that summons another guy. We can go dragon bite, summon a four, make map. Oh my God. That's crazy. Magma is a huge pull. What a great super. Giant ball game. Oh, <gasps> it's insect support. Wait, hold on. During your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, special summon a level six lower insect from your graveyard. Ah! That's so good. It's monster reborn for insects. It's monster reborn for insects. You can reveal an insect monster in your hand, target a face-up monster your opponent controls, and one insect monster you control with less attack than the revealed monster. Wait, reveal a monster, target a face-up monster your opponent controls, and an insect monster you control with less attack than the revealed monster. Switch control of those monsters, and if you do, the monster you took control becomes an insect. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is like one of the best... <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. It's all coming together. I couldn't have scripted this better myself. Oh my God. We're, we're not even done with the pack. There's still two other cards. Okay, that card's not very good. That, okay, it doesn't matter. Magma giant ball game. Oh, we got a game now, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. I'm going to open these legacy packs, but I'm going to tell you what. I don't know if I care about these legacy packs. <laughs> oh my god. Meteor Rain. Black and white wave. Oh, now we're activating that. Okay. Gauntlet Warrior. This card's so bad. Tri-Killer. Also very bad. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's go to the deck. All right, so we're definitely putting in giant ball game and uh, the Twitch chat has voted to remove the second copy of Suprex. And you know what? I'm totally okay with that. We'll see how it plays out. We already put Magma in as well. This is, this is insane. I, I hope we get to summon this. This is so good. We got the ball game. We're balling. Oh my God. And an insect to go with it. This is gonna go hard. Oh, it's a bot though. Wait, didn't we play this bot? Am I crazy? I swear we played this bot. I know all the names sound the same, but I swear this was one of the bots we played earlier. <laughs> the bots are advancing faster than we are. Man, I wanted to play, I wanted to just ball out with ball game. That's so sad. Why would they play this? This is like a real card. I really hope they're not playing Metal Reflect Slime. That would just be irritating. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Of course, Dash Warrior. Why, why would I expect anything else? Okay. Man, imagine playing Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Couldn't be me. They're playing Ra's Disciple, but there's no Ra in the deck. I, I still can't believe Royal Ash. That's just hilarious. They're playing the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh, though. They have the Camellia in deck. Holy shit. All right. Well-deserved Master Pack, as always. Melody. We don't have three, so that doesn't really do us anything, but it is generic. This does not do us any good. Oh, Thunder Dragon, two more, and then we might be able to actually use it. Pain Gainer's very funny. That thing is way out of reach. Galaxy Queen's Light, not using that. This, unfortunately, doesn't really do us much good, which sucks, but 
It's fine. Parade's not good. Leotron. Holy shit, this is a 2k normal summon. If only it was an insect. All right, legacy pack. Come on, legacy pack. Link Apple. And Battle Waltz. We've already pulled that card before. All right, nothing great. That's fine. We got more than we could have ever asked for in the last pack, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, man. If we get an insect, we can summon magma. That's... I can't believe I'm saying we might be able to synchro summon in this deck. Well, we, we've done it before, but... I don't count Kendama. I'm sorry. This is this is a real synchro monster. What is with the bots? This is another... There's no way this isn't another bot. I'm sorry. If anyone's playing at this exact juncture and you're looking to get free games... Play right now, because holy shit, I do not know how we've played this many bots. You know what? Because I can. All right, finally. After 10,000 years. Four legacy packs. Holy shit, we're rich. All right, master pack first. Okay. Lots of good cards. Lots of good cards. That is not one of them. Noble Arms, not good. Vampire's Desire, vampire card, not good. Egotist, harpy card. Gold Golgonda, not useful. EMR, I think we pulled, didn't we pull this in like episode two or something? Earthbound Immortal. I don't think we're doing anything with that. Code Generator. I think this card's okay. We just don't have the deck for it. All right, let's open our Legacy Pack. Screw this. Ooh, okay. Promising. Narrow Pass. Come on, good super. Good super. What the hell is this? Oh, this is one of these cards. Okay, well, that card sucks, unfortunately. All right, what else we got? Garvis. Look at his face. Look at that hair. Follow it. Look, it's his wings. You can, it'd be like in the anime, his wings would like turn green. He's not a wing beast though. He's just a beast. Crystal Seer, a bit slow and doesn't really fit with our strategy, but this is a good card. Second Goblin is awful. Okay, another super would be nice. And I don't think we got it. Cyber Arch being terrible. That's generic! It's a generic Link 3! I don't think we really have more than three monsters on the field at any given time, if I'm being honest. But we can play it, so we're gonna play it. Gaia Saber, get in there. What are we cutting? I don't think we're making Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. These are only fives. Yeah, get this out of here. Okay. This isn't bad. Could be better, but I think this is playable. Oh my God, is this another bot? I swear to God. Okay. At least that card made it fast. One legacy pack, that sounds about right. All right, uh, we're back again with another master pack. <laughs> Didn't think we'd be here again so quickly. That doesn't do us much good. We're definitely not using that. One of these ancient warrior cards, I think is sort of like a Pancratops. This isn't it, but I need to keep an eye out for that just in case. Capricious Dark Lord, not too useful. There are worse supers it could be. We do have like the chaos stuff, which we haven't touched in a while. So like this could be good for that, but I still think our plant deck is better. As far as Gemini monsters go, there are worse Gemini monsters. At least this one can pop something. All right, nothing too useful. Let's do the legacy pack. Lancer Dragonute. I guess we're getting decent lights and darks if we did want to go back to chaos. Ice Mirror. 
Not very good for us. All right, let's see if we can duel another bot since the bots are out in abundance right now. We're on a six win streak, by the way. I'm pretty sure these are all bots. Maybe one legitimate win here. Okay, this looks like a real opponent. And of course, like when it is a real opponent, our hand is like garbage. Their hand's gonna have to be real bad for us to claw our way into this one. Oh, this is a real opponent, all right. Can we even beat this? I'm pretty sure we're gonna auto concede to this, but I'm gonna make sure. That's so good, Dia Bellstar pitch Lamia. That's so good. Bring back Lamia, make uh what is it, Siegfried? This is a seven, right? I just want to see where this goes. We're probably dead, but... We haven't seen a real game in nine hours. Huh? What's happening? Oh, it's for Rocket Salamander. I forgot that's a TG card. Okay. That's kind of sick. Okay, that's a problem. Just the junk speeder of TGs. Yeah, we're not beating this. That was cool though. That was cool. It was TG all along. Oh, we might be balling this game. Oh, we're going first. We might not be balling. I think I just want to set the Suprex. If they kill it, we get Rescorpio. I could set Armored B, bring it back with Giant Ball Game, but I don't know. Our opponent's probably playing a real deck, so this probably isn't going to be good enough. And they forced us to go set, uh, first, so Lightning Storm... Raigeki, any of the board breakers incoming. Oh. Well then. Nice neg one. Imagine special summoning. Couldn't be me. Ah, uh, this stupid deck. Quaking might actually go hard here. I mean, I'm being baited here, right? Clearly. This is exact lethal. Whatever, I'm going for it. Actually, it's not exact lethal because they have the effect. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, I don't want to set this, actually. I don't have any monsters in hand. Oh, I should have said that. I could still negate an effect. What am I doing? 
I always forget this, like, is just Solemn Strike on the field. I always get so greedy and want to actually take a monster. Deserved, honestly. Well, now I have a monster. Okay. Hmm. What an annoying scenario. I can only summon one monster a turn. Oh, wait a minute. We're gonna ball. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Who would have thought a special summon is a decent effect? Wow, we are uh, we are just climbing, aren't we? That is like the 900th Lady Panther I've received in the rewards section, by the way. I cannot believe we beat a Makonko deck. All right. Come on, Master Pack. Big Bucks, no whammies. Christron, generic, level five, synchro. This is probably worth playing. It's a big 2,500 level five. It's generic and it changes stuff to defense. That's not bad. I'd play that. Vanish Sage, that's a Utopia card. Defense Perimeter, Machina card or Machine card. Watt Hopper is unfortunately not an insect. Dogmatica Ashion. Fusion Synchro Exceeds Link is sent to the graveyard. Special summon this from your hand. I don't have a way to like reliably trigger this. So it's probably not worth playing. Cyanet Fusion. Idly's kind of fun. It's pretty uncommon that our opponent's going to have eight Link rating worth of cards on the field, but it's fun. Concentrating Current. Face a monster you control gains attack equal to its defense until the end of the turn. Other monsters you control cannot declare an attack the turn you activate this card. It's fine. It's like, okay. Like, that's not terrible. It's like a decent, uh, it's a decent battle trick. See if our, uh, legacy pack's any better. Ooh, it might be. Soul of the Pure. I've always loved this artwork. All right. Please be good. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not likely to come up. It's not likely to come up, but it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, Mistworm and Amitrix, Amatrix going in. Honestly, I think I'll just cut Wayne because Amatrix is just a better Wayne. I think we get rid of Moark. I just don't think we're ever going to be like defensive, honestly. Concentrating current is really good. I guess it's not bad, right? Holy shit, we could make Beargrum. 6,200 with Concentrated Current. <laughs> Just for that alone, I kind of want to play it. Cassira Ogre goes up to 38. Lab Archfiend goes to 48. Golden Burst goes to 46. It doesn't work with the Gokis, which kind of sucks, but like, whatever. Okay, you know what? I'll put in Concentrating Current over Backup Rider because they sort of do the same thing. Uh, but this is a quick play, which honestly is probably better. So we'll swap those around. I feel like they're two cards that fill the same role. So let, let's try that. Man, Residence Insect tribute for Econ to take a monster. Search Beargrim. I don't know. It seems pretty good. This is another fucking bot. Bro, I'm just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't mind free wins. Like, don't get me wrong, but come on. Huh? Is there some punk card that like pays all your life? I, I That was the last card I was expecting. I'll be on. What? <laughs> the bots have broken me. The bots have broken me. You know, sword punk or punk soul would be like the cool, like a cool name for a deck or archetype though. I mean, this pays 600, right? What? <laughs> what is this? 
I think I pulled this card. <laughs> I'm so lost. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. They have more punk cards. Is it... You know what would be big brain? If you, like, made this your avatar and made this your name and people thought you were a bot and then you just, like, somehow just, like, smoked them out of nowhere. Maybe that's, like, the real meta. It's, like, revenge of the bots. My biggest issue is that it's just taking so goddamn long for them to finish their turn. Also, I how do I out this? Like, Paris, am I really gonna Parasomnia pillow this? May, uh, probably, actually. It's never gonna end. This is how they get into gold. People just, like, quit because they don't want to wait for them to do this. They figure, oh, I'm playing a real deck. I can probably win two games in the time it takes for one self-decay bot to do anything. I'm losing it. I'm actually just losing my mind. I feel like I'm tied up in a straitjacket in a room with mattresses all around. Well, they got rid of the big thing for me. Oh, perfect. Th fantastic. That's, that's exactly what we need. Bro, I don't even know. I think Armored B is like the best card. End the game quicker, please. God, when the Masochist account gets to the point that we can do more than like 2,000 in a battle phase, just you wait, bots. Just you wait. Of course. How, how can I not foresee Gravekeeper's Nobleman being in the bot's deck? The perfect card a self DK bot would want to use to win the game quickly or lose the game quickly. I'm actually losing it. But this is how the bots win. We won't let the bots win. Psychological warfare. I still can't kill them next turn, by the way. It is actually impossible for me to kill them next turn. Actually, I think we can kill them. Okay, I think we finally get... Never mind. Never mind. Maybe we can kill them. Okay, I gotta do this. Okay, check this shit out. So we link these two off. Resonance Insect grabs Beargrum. Special Summon Beargrum. This is so fucking good. And funny enough, it's exact lethal. And then Resonance Insect sends something else to the grave just to make it funny. And you know we're winning this game the right way. <laughs> Behold! The power of gigantic bear growth! <laughs> I'm actually losing my mind. <laughs> 6,200. Oh my God. All right, I'm a believer in that quick play spell. That was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Link Devotee. Don't really have anything for that. Starry Knight. This card's not very good. Dash Warrior's not very good. Gamma's not very good. Stack Reviver, I don't think is very good. No. Gimmick Puppet doesn't do any good. Thousand Knives is terrible. And Cyber Dark Dragon is unplayable. What an uneventful master pack. All right. Three legacy packs, though. Steel Ogre Grotto, Sage of Stillness. Ooh. Warrior Elimination, AKA Gauge Elimination. Penumbral Soldier Lady. Fairy Archer, that is terrible. I hate that this could actually be good. <laughs> I think we have the other card though. What is it? Warning line? Fuse line? I think that's the card. I think we pulled that. 
If this is another bot, I, I'm actually going to lose my mind. Uh, it's 41 cards. Maybe this isn't a bot. They're still in draw phase. It, it's a fucking bot. I'm going to lose my mind. Don't you fucking dare. They have adapted to make us waste as much time as possible. It's not about... They figured it out. They're more likely to win if the opponent just gets sick of sitting here. But unfortunately, we're just as fucked up as they are, and we're not going anywhere. I feel like I'm a fucking lab experiment right now. They're like, hmm, what if we, what if we tune the bots? Maybe this will get them to, to back out more and we can farm more gems. And that means we can get to higher ranks, which means we get more gems on the account. It's not even enough. I'm sorry. It's not even enough that they don't set and pass. They specifically normal the monster and then go to battle phase and then attack and then go to main phase two and then do nothing and then go to end phase. The amount of time that adds up to wasting is astronomical. But a win's a win, right? A win's a win. What is a win worth to you? Put me out of my misery. We did it. Another bot down. I never thought I'd be complaining about the bots. Wait, here we are. All right, another well-deserved master pack. 100% skill only master pack coming up here. Ooh, okay. Bird Strike, Lyralisk. Branded Disciple. Some of these cards just randomly are generic. Another Paleo. Unfortunately, this is a bad one, but it is more Paleo. So like at the end of the day, it's not that bad. Personal Spoofing, that's Altergeist. Queen of Thorns, funny enough, requires a non-plant. <laughs> I think I have better sixes, but like funny enough, we can actually summon that. What the fuck is this? Okay, that card is something. Wow, that card is terrible. All right, come on. Good card, just not really good for us. Please, you are. Please. Oh, if this was like the Link, this would have been so much better. I've always loved this artwork, though. This is a sick artwork. Man, that's unfortunate. Queen of Thorns is okay. Let's see what we get in the Legacy Packs. Okay. Explosive Urchin. That is... I don't think I'd play that anyway. I was going to say, like, maybe you play this if your opponent doesn't have to activate a trap, but that just seems bad. Pitch Dark Dragon, terrible. That This card's bad. Uh, that card's also bad. I'm starting to think like a bot. That's the problem. This looks like a real opponent. Dark Magician, got a lot of custom stuff. 43 card main deck. This seems like your typical gold opponent. Probably playing Dark Magician if they got Dark Magician mate. Oh, fuck. I can't beat this. Taya follow-up too? Just get Long One off the summon. I can't beat this. God, Sword Soul is just like impossible. They have to brick for us to win that. At least it wasn't a bot. And this person doesn't look like a bot either. It's Burger Boy! Oh, please be playing Hungry Burger, please. Oh, this is worse. I mean, at least they dualityed. Okay, so we're gonna get cooked next turn. Dust Tornado. Shit. Fuck it. We have live Beargrim. There is a chance. Oh my god, we can solitary sword the Beargrim to make it 68. That would be insane. I don't think it's very good, but it's just funny.
A unicorn? Yeah. Why did they summon this in attack? Do we just go for it? Do we just YOLO it? I'm down. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it. Wait, I can't banish from field. Shit. I can't banish from field. That's very important. That's so annoying, actually. Is there any way we can get, like, just a one monster? I don't think so. Man, I really want to summon this. I don't think we can, though. Let's just, let's just do this. Special unicorn. Can Link make this? Gets us guys summon Bergram. Hit over both things. I don't want this unicorn sticking around. Let's try this. Okay, so let's get rid of this, this, and probably the Dendrite. Tander banished, right? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. That last card better be pretty fucking good. I guess they had another one. I hear that card's pretty good. We can beat it, though. What are they gonna banish? Oh, they only did... They gave me the Camellia. Wait, that's actually cracked. Hold up. They gave me the Camellia. So I could do this a couple ways. I could just go banish everything for Beargrum. Equip Solitary Sword Attack. I don't know what this back row is, and I'm just like a bit hesitant to do that. I think we just do this. Let them use Ogre. I don't care. Man, I'd really like to keep Vayne around. It's fine. It's more damage to go this way. I got one card. Well, they ripped a monster. Wow, that's a fucking hit. Holy shit. Isn't this semied? Or is this back at three? We say put this in. Does it have to go in defense? Oh, it does go defense. Okay. Well, now we're probably dead. <laughs> there goes our ogre, unfortunately. Now they have fodder for this. Ugh. Yeah, this is probably over. We might still be in it. We just get a monster. Wrong type of monster. And yeah, we can just gamma seal and that's it. Yeah, we should have just went for it. it sucks. Should have just went for it. I figured what would one draw do, but apparently that was uh 
honest or uh that was just bad that was just bad So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel by Community, Community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Enraged Peacock, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much again for watching, and we will see you next time.